so guys how to make a simple realistic rainbow like this as you can see at the background so let's do it so this is our default cube select the cube press X and delete then shift plus a mesh add a new plane let's rotate it 90 degree numpad 1 for front view select the plane go to shading tab numpad 1 front view again select the plane go to material tab click on new to add a new material let's name it rainbow these are our default nodes let's give it some space then click on add then search for texture coordinate then mapping take two of them then search for gradient texture then color ramp take two of them then search for mix shader then shader to RGB We are done with the node search. Let's connect them. Texture coordinate object to the mapping, mapping vector output to the gradient texture. Change from linear to spherical. Let me show you that how it looks. So this is how it looks. Now the gradient texture fact to the color ramp fact. We know that rainbow have seven colors. So we already have two colors here, black and white let's add five more click on this plus icon one two three four five now distribute the middle five evenly so after the distribution is done select the first one bring it closer to the second one same for the last one bring it closer change from linear to is now put the seven colors of rainbow so select the first one we know that first one is red maybe or we can search in Google and then just copy and paste the hex value it's better if we can see the output so let's connect the color to the principal BSDF base color so this is what we have so far the rainbow first color is red as you can see let's copy the color now select the first slider point then click on this bar then select the hex then just paste it do the same for others so all color changing is done so our next step select the first slider point then click on the bar then reduce the alpha to 0 to make it totally transparent then the last one same alpha 0 but there is no change so for that go to material tab scroll down change the blend mode to alpha blend as it's a rainbow so no shadow so shadow none and show back face visible so why it is still not transparent so for that the alpha output to the principal BSDF alpha now we have our rainbow ring we can adjust the ring color in color ramp let me show you see so it's up to you that how much width you need for each rings but it's a full ring we need only the 50 percent of it so how can we cut it it's really simple that's why we added this part texture coordinate object to the second mapping second mapping vector output to the color ramp second color ramp let me show you the output of the second color ramp so guys this is our output the black part will be transparent but it's like this so let's rotate it at the mapping change the y value 45 degree select the first slider point then click on the bar then again alpha 0 now we'll combine the alpha from the first color ramp 
with the second color ramp. So what's the first color ramp alpha? Let me show you. Now if we mix it with the second color ramp alpha, we will have 50% cut here. So let's see. Disconnect the first color ramp alpha from the principal base def alpha. Connect it with the mix shader fact and the second color ramp alpha to the mix shader shader. So what's the output for our mix shader? Let's see. See only 50% is visible. Now it's sharp so let's change it from linear to ease. So the sharpness is gone now. So what's the use of this shader to RGB? Because principal BSDF do not take the shader as a input. So that's why we need to convert it shader to RGB. Then put the color to the alpha. Let's see our final output. So as you can see that we have a rainbow but it's hardly visible. So what can I do now? Go to the second color ramp. Then change the white slider. See, it's making it visible. If you want some transparency for your rainbow, so for that, select the second one. Click on this white bar. Reduce the alpha to like 0 0.7. So it's up to you. Let me show you all the nodes we used so that you can connect it properly. Texture coordinate mapping, gradient texture, color ramp, principal BSDF, same mapping, color ramp, mix shader, shader to RGB. Object to world, edit, preference, add on, node regular, enable it, select the background control plus T now click on open then go to your blender directory so mine is on C blender foundation 3.1 3.1 data files studio light world let's uh, find sunrise go to layout again so this is a rainbow as you can see it's semi transparent so we have a realistic rainbow but the last thing this works on ev engine not the cycle so thank you guys see you on the next tutorial